hello youtube welcome back to my video uh, in this video we are going to check uh, the js of resource bundle and uh, the message properties uh, file how to use it and uh, what is this actually so in this video i will be showing a complete project of uh, you can see here this is just a form if i submit this i am getting a message uh, here i am loading this uh, message from a resource library where i return all my message in a separate uh, file i am just loading by reference to this page i am i will uh, show you in this video and one more uh, thing we can see uh, this is uh, uh, different methods which we can uh, show uh, the uh, messages from the message properties in the uh, in, in your JSF page so I'm uh, saved in the as I told you I saved in, in a separate uh, properties file so I'll show you how to use the resource bundle in all forms so here we go so uh, let me start a new project uh, it is a Java web application and the name I am uh, giving it as uh, resource bundle and click next so we are uh, setting the server as apache tomcat and all of this are same just click uh, next and we are using this uh, framework as java server faces click on that and just click finish okay how our project has been loaded now i am uh, going this is my index.xhtml as you can see in my web pages index.xhtml is there so here i'm quickly going to add a small form here uh, just to demonstrate uh, the thing so i'm just giving a uh, input text here so i'm just giving enter name let's see so i'm giving uh, it as uh, h co input text h colon input text so it's a uh, actually a text box and now I am uh, giving a breakpoint here and again I am just a copy paste in there so I am just giving it the name and now enter mobile number and uh, i'm just giving one more uh, no that's enough i'm just giving a command button here so i have a uh, the value let it be submit so i have a small form here now let me run this and see how it looks now to run the file just click on the and the file right click on that and just click run file uh, it will also take some time for the fast load just wait for that okay the project has been loaded now if i click this nothing will happen because i have not uh, given uh, the action tag for the submit now i'm going to give a message to uh, these uh, uh, form values i mean if we submit this i'm making this uh, input text as mandatory and give a message to that so for that going back to our project uh, in the input text area i'm just uh, giving the required and uh, make it true and same way here also so i'm copy pasting that required equal to true okay now saving the project go back to uh, the browser let me refresh this you can see uh, the validation error is come and uh, the validation error is value is required now this message is the default message from JSF. if i want to uh, configure it uh, like mm, my custom message i can do it come here and uh, just give a required message equal to and uh, name and uh, same way uh, required message is equal to and uh, mobile number okay now going back to the project again let me refresh you can see the end name and end mobile number is coming here now I have uh, just uh, put that message in the in the form itself I can also configure this one this message uh, message messaging system in uh, 
one separate uh, one separate file and I, 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 call, I can just call the reference of that message to display uh, the message in the uh, the uh, the form let's uh, check that also now uh, the other file where we configure our messages is uh, the properties file so I'm going to create a message dot properties uh, uh, file so for that go to new go to other and in the other section you can see uh, a properties file is there just uh, click uh, next and I'm giving the name as a message and it will come in I'm giving the folder as uh, put it in uh, web itself and uh, select this folder now just click finish okay as you can see here the message dot properties uh, is uh, came there so I'm going to uh, write our message information in these properties and, and uh, taking these uh, messages in the front end in the JSON file. Now uh, in the properties I'm just giving uh, the message uh, a name for the message. So message for name equals I'm just writing uh, please enter the name completely now uh, I'm giving the message for mobile I'm just giving it as a place enter a valid uh, mobile number okay so I have given please enter the name completely and uh, we don't want a semicolon here okay so I have uh, completely completed uh, the messages for the two uh, two forms now I'll just let me save it I have saved it now I want to import this message dot properties in the index.xhtml for that we have to uh, import the faceless, faceless uh, tag library so let me import that first so the code tag library which is the facelet and I am uh, importing it in our header section so as you can see yeah, it says a new cell library now we have to import the bundle uh, yeah for that i'm just creating i am just transferring the message or properties uh, to our source packages so i'm just giving uh, a package name as form.chillifax.com i'm just drag that to this one so i can access from the load uh, I can uh, access it from uh, faces config it should be uh, in the fa uh, in the Java class path uh, it was my mistake I created in the web pages so yeah what to do next is we have we want to create the faces config so for that I'm uh, creating new faces config uh, file and uh, it's friends I'm just message it faces configuration yes this one and let it be default faces config and click finish so the faces config has been created now we have to uh, map our messages properties uh, to the, uh, to this faces config so inside just uh, write the application tag okay so inside the application we have to write is uh, the resource bundle and uh, just close the resource bundle so inside resource bundle we have to give the base name and uh, the where information uh, the base name is uh, com.chillifax.com dot message and the where I'm giving this the variable which uh, we need to uh, by this we need to access the this uh, bundle in the uh, JS of page now we have saved it now going back to our index.xstml I am uh, going to call this uh, message uh, properties here for that we have given the uh, where, where name as msgs so in the index page like I'm just calling that one m e m s g s dot you can see here it's being populated message for name here now let me copy the same uh, here also 
and uh, just press control paste you will get messages for your mobile now uh, the main advantages of this one is uh, you can uh, the main advantages is uh, you can use uh, this message in any of your uh, JSF index page and uh, 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 if you edit uh, the message here, uh, it will be edited in all other pages. So I have added this uh, code tag library. This is not required. I thought it will be required. I am just removing that. Now let's try running this uh, file. Let's see. Yes, the project has been run. Now if I click here, we can see the message is coming uh, which we gave a custom uh, here in our message store properties now let me edit here uh, completely uh, now I'm just giving my name at the end let me save it so it will be redeployed deploying yeah it's redeployed now let me just finish it you can see if I submit again it is coming here first I told if I edit you can use this message for name in any uh, any kind of uh, uh, in the front end JSOF page and uh, yeah this is how you can use uh, the resource bundle now let me show you one more thing and let me create a new uh, page as a page here so as a page i am giving it as uh, um, index one so let me update some messages here yes as you can see I, I have added a message one here so i have run, uh, written as chillyfax.com so in index one i am just in the uh, h1 style color red i am just accessing that now if i'm going to back to my project and uh, if i give index dot one you can see uh, the style properties is also applicable for that so i have added more codes in, in this uh, page and i have uh, imported the code tag library now in the messages you can see i have uh, written more messages and in this message too i have just given uh, the h2 tag here not here actually in this page i just uh, give the h2 tag here and you can see i have given an escape equal to false here i'll show you the output if i refresh this as you can see uh, i have given this one a CSS with the CSS information here and let me update again that I will uh, set this color property also uh, Coming back to here Color property. I'm just setting it to pink Saving it coming back the project refresh Yes, as you can see here uh, We can write the CSS information also here and you can you should access that if you want the uh, the CSS to be loaded uh, on the page uh, Just put escape equal to false. Okay, and I have written uh, more methods You can access this uh, message information. Just have a look. I'll share the source code in the description Okay, so that's all for now about the resource bundle and if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below I'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching